Hello, this is Oksana Boychenko with you today, and yes, this is me, I just lost my voice, so I apologize. <laughs> so I, today I have a really, really wonderful lady for you to meet. She is coming actually from my country, Kazakhstan, and this girl, she has incredible, incredible eyes. The color of her eyes is so deep, bright blue, incredible, so beautiful. So Svetlana, she is, uh, she is a widow. And as we have a saying uh, here in the United States and overseas, the best wives are the widows because they really know what the love is. And it happened, the tragedy happened in their life that they lost the special someone. But they don't have the tra tragedy of um, unfulfilled relationship or uh, being with the wrong person. They know what love is and they are ready to receive this love again. So Svetlana, she is absolutely not only stunning, beautiful, but she is so bright. She has a degree uh, of being a diplomat and you will hear her story. And by the way, Svetlana prepared a really, really special and super, super tasty treat for you. So stay through the video. There is Svetlana with us today. And Svetlana is from Kazakhstan, from the country where I am from, right? From the country where all of the beautiful and most relationship ready women are coming from. So Svetlana, she's um, a couple of words, a couple of words about her. So Svetlana, she is, um, actually she knows what the love is. Svetlana is a widow. And uh, as they're saying that the best women, uh, actually the, the, the ones who are widows, is because they know, uh, because they know what love is, because they experience the love, but it had happened in their life that those tragedy happened in their life. So, Sveta, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So, you are from Kazakhstan. Uh, hello, Oksana. Very glad to see you today. Same here. I am really from Kazakhstan, from Almaty. It's a past city of Kazakhstan. Uh, it's a very beautiful city. Mm, we have a lot, a lot of mountains here. Uh, you can go to see some rivers, uh, lakes, and other beautiful places. <laughs> you know, you have the most incredible color of eyes. It is so beautiful. <laughs> it like matches your, matches your shirt. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, about your life? So, uh, you are you, you're a mom. You have a son. Right. I have a son, ten years old. Ten years old. So, and you've been a widow for what? Nine years? Eight years? Uh, it happened at uh, like nine years nine ago. Nine years ago. Nine yeah. years ago. Yeah. Your son was just uh, just turned one when that accident happened, right? Okay. Mm, yes. All right. I don't like to start <coughs> our interviews with um, you know, with the past experience or something like that. But this is part of the life and. Uh, you know, Svetlana, she is absolutely incredible person, absolutely incredible person. And now she is ready to meet that special person in her life. It's already the time had passed. Uh, she raised her son. Her son is uh, uh, already uh, 10 years old. And there she is, our gorgeous, gorgeous lady. All right. Okay, Svetlana, uh, let's talk about, um, uh, about you a little bit. Have you ever been to the United States? Have you ever traveled to the United States? Unfortunately, I haven't ever been in the United States. Mm -hmm. But uh, some days ago, I thought that I have some relatives there. It's, uh, my parents of my husband are still living there. Mm. Where in the United States? Which part? They live in Sacramento. In Sacramento! They <laughs> live. Wow, that's where I am. That's why I'm saying Sacramento. Okay, Sacramento, California. Okay, and uh, so have you thought about coming to United States? Have you been invited by them to come and visit? Really, I haven't ever think about it, but nowadays I can think. Yeah, for you, everything just happens so fast, right? So you have um, you haven't really been thinking about coming to United States before because, like, all of the things happen so fast for you. Your friend, your girlfriend. Told, told you about us and you registered for the program and here you are and yes. yeah so you haven't really You're been planning excited. yeah uh, everything just happened so quick so you haven't been really planning to come to the United States but you have your relatives who are inviting you to come here correct I'm working on this question 
Okay. So you're See? working on getting getting the visa done, and you're thinking about connecting with the relatives. You know, so yes. they would invite you to come to the United States. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Which of the places oh. in the United States would you want to visit? Or do you know much about United States? I know that there are a lot of states and they all are different. Uh, and of course, I wanted uh, to visit uh, the parents of my husband. So I want to see to visit Sacramento, mm-hmm. first of all. And mm-hmm. other states too. Yeah, so your English. Have you been tr- practicing English? How do you know English? Uh, I studied English at the university, but when I finished university, unfortunately, I didn't have any practice at all. Uh, wow. I wanted to work uh, by my profession, uh-huh. I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, what is your profession? What is your profession? What is your degree? I am a diplomat. <laughs> diplomat! Look at that! <laughs> That is really, really great degree. I mean, that's fantastic. Have you ever been working at this profession, or was it difficult to get a job? Unfortunately, I haven't ever been uh, by this profession. Mm-hmm. Why not? But in our country, you should have some uh, maybe relations, yeah, or money, <laughs> yeah, to have uh, the job that you want to have. Yeah, it is so sad when people, brilliant uh, ladies like you, when they graduate with su- such a degree, being a diplomat, and the only way for you to get a job in that fair, you got to have the connections or lots of money, either or, right? Okay, so what, what type of jobs did you do instead of uh, when you graduated? I worked at the computers company and at the company which provides security. Nowadays, I work at the security company. Were you working at the gun shop as well? Uh, yes, you're right. <laughs> uh, the first, uh, my first job was a uh, gun shop. Okay, did you like it? <laughs> Do you like to do anything with guns? <laughs> uh, yes, I like it. It's yeah. rather interesting uh, to see uh, so, uh, <laughs> a lot of men <laughs> who wants to buy guns and uh, something for Fishing. Do you like fishing? Um, no, my father like. <laughs> your father like. like? Okay, okay. Uh, how would you describe your personality? Are you more like driven and just go crazy, do something, or more balanced? What is your personality is like? I'm full of balance. Uh, I don't like some conflicts, and yeah. I think that my uh, education. Uh, help me uh, <laughs> to have uh, such balance in yeah, my life. Yeah, of course. I mean, if you're learning how to be a diplomat, you got to know how to balance things out, right? I mean, that's just kind of natural. Yeah. You know All what right. really amazes me? You haven't been using English for many, many years. For many, many years. And yes, you're, you're right. this, is, this is the first time that you have been using English Something that you learned back in school, I mean, in university. Incredible. Mm-hmm. You know, I think for you, it will take just, you know, a few conversations and you will remember a lot. You will remember everything. Uh, yes, I remembered a lot. And some uh, weeks ago, I began to study English again. I went wow. to courses. <laughs> so you started taking classes just uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Incredible. Can we talk about a little bit about your hobby? So we know that you are, uh, you're a very diplomatic person. We know that you're an incredible personality. You're absolutely gorgeous, stunning. But let's talk about things that you enjoy doing. What do you like to do? First of all, I like traveling. Traveling? <laughs> uh, yes, you're right. I like skiing. Uh, this year, my son uh, began to ski together with me. Wow, is it mountain skiing? Down mm-hmm. the mountain? Wow. Okay. Of mountain, and you can go. You can come <laughs> here and see it uh, with your own eyes. Um, also, I just like to go to the mountain uh, on foot or um, by car. You like driving? Yes, I like. You do. Okay. How good are you at cooking? I think I. 
Or was it good? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, good. Okay. Well, we have something special. Uh, Svetlana actually prepared a very special meal for you just now, right? And we're going to show a really quick clip on how Svetlana made manti. That is very popular, big time popular dish in Kazakhstan. Svetlana, you're such a great cook. You know, just looking at this video, I am drooling. I want those Monty. I really, really want them. Incredible. Great job. <laughs> I invite you here. I, you know what? I would, I would fly from Sacramento to, from, you know, California to Kazakhstan just for that. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's talk about you uh, in terms of, do you like animals? Do you like pets? Yes, of course. I like animals very much. But now I live in a flat <laughs> and uh, I don't have animals here. But my parents have, in my childhood, we, we have a lot of animals. We had uh, cats, dogs, chickens, uh, ducks, and even the goat <laughs> with small <Wow>. goat. <laughs> so you got the whole farm going on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any pets uh, right now in your house, in your in your apartment? Yes, I have, I, and I even can show you. All right, <laughs> let's see that. Let's see those pets of yours. Oh, you have a piano? Oh, what do we have here? Some fishes, maybe 14. <laughs> 14, 15 fishes, oh my goodness. Okay, so you got a little bit of a pets going on, huh? Cute. Yeah, so you like animals, huh? I like animals. Yeah, okay. So uh, when you lived in a house, um, so you lived in a private sector, right? Outside of uh, outside of the city. Um, when you lived in a house, did you have a garden? Did you like to do anything with the garden or anything like that? Yes, of course, we have a garden. <laughs> yeah? Everybody in our sector has a garden. And I remember that I should... Uh, help my mother, my grandmother with uh, their garden. <laughs> what did you grow in your garden? Uh, tomatoes, uh, peppers, potatoes. Um, cucumbers? Cucumbers, yes, you're right. Bell peppers? Uh, uh, apples uh, and a lot of other fruits. <laughs> wow, <laughs> and, okay. So you do like uh, you do like the gardening. You do like um, like all these beautiful thingies around. Do you like gardening? Yes, yeah. I like. It. Do you have any garden going on right now? Uh, yes, I have. You do. <laughs> I do. <it> too. <laughs> I want to see my garden. Show the garden. Show us the garden. Where is the garden? <laughs> just a minute. There is a little garden going on. Wow, you have all these beautiful plants here, <laughs> beautiful, so even though that you are not living in a, uh, you know, in the country anymore, but you do have, uh, uh, you know, something you are growing, growing, still growing yourself. Yes, I do. All right, okay, so uh, do you like living like in a big city or do you like a country life? I think I can like to live in a city or in the countryside. It depends on my family. If okay. my 
husband <laughs> like to live in the city, I would live in the city. Or if he likes to live in suburb, <laughs> I can live there too. So you would say that with the, uh, with the right person, uh, it doesn't matter where to live, as long as it is the right person by your side, right? Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, you know what, Svetlana, I can really use some practice right now. So if you want to get to know Svetlana, you please let us know because she is, I mean, I am really, really amazed with her English level. I actually thought that her English would be a lot worse, but she's doing so well. But she definitely needs a little bit of a practice. Do you need a little bit of a practice in English? I need if yeah. somebody can help me. <laughs> I'm very glad. Fantastic. <laughs> help. Great. Svetlana, do you have a couple of words for that special someone who might be looking at you right now? So can you tell him a couple of words? What is in your heart? Yes. If you want to have a lovely uh, wife <laughs> uh, who, uh, who is waiting for you in in your house, um, who wants to take care of you. So I think you should choose me. <laughs> Fantastic. And you know what, whoever will choose is you and you choose is him. You know, that's going to be the luckiest man on earth. So you are incredible. You are wonderful. Once again, this is Svetlana. She is from Kazakhstan, from the country where I am from. And women from Kazakhstan, they really have something unique about them. They know how to respect the man, they know how to value a man, and they know how to recognize a man. And look at this beauty right here with the blue eyes. Incredible. Beautiful, beautiful. Svetlana, thank you so much for your video interview. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Um, you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Have a good day too. Thank you. Bye-bye. So here is Svetlana. Isn't she wonderful? Such a sweet girl. Absolutely sweet girl. I'm serious. You know, the person who will end up having this woman in his life is going to be treated like a king because she knows how to treat her men right. And of course, her personality is outstanding. So sweet. So if you were looking for a sweet girl, then Svetlana is the one. Let me know about your interest in Svetlana. And while Svetlana is in Kazakhstan right now, she's going to start working on getting her tourist visa to come to the United States. And meanwhile, we can get you introduced over the video so you can start getting to know one another. So my contact details are right below this video. Let me know of your interest in Svetlana and let you get introduced to this incredible woman that you've been looking for for such a long time.